Hey guys, it's Girl Got Game, and we're here with a new game for first time in a long time. Dandelion and Amnesia are done, so I thought it'd be nice to play Hustle Cat. Had a lot of people recommend this to me, and uh, it looks really cute. You work in a, in a cat cafe, which I don't know what that is, but it sounds amazing, so hopefully we can find some cute cats there to chase after as well. Unlike Dandelion. <laughs> There's some cute cats, but their personalities weren't so cute. So an entire dating game about dating cats. There's gotta be at least one cat that's like decent, right? That's that's my theory anyway. So let's just check our options real quick. Alright, there is no voice action to turn off. Maybe turn the music down a little bit. Sure. Full screen's good. New game start though. Ooh. Okay. All right. I can't change the name, but I can pick my pronouns. Uh, oh, that's nice. I have a them they option. Psst, you can change this mid game if you'd like. That's all right. I am a she her, so that'll be fine. Um, address pending. Degree. Yeah. <laughs> Skills. Rest management. Nutrition consumption. Meme curation. Twelve words per minute. Ooh, on Greg's list. <laughs> okay, so I guess we haven't started working at the cafe yet. This kind of looks like a resume. And I have to select my photo. Okay. Oh, some cute photos. Hmm, which one do I want? I'm torn between this one and this one. Hmm, maybe the middle one. Yeah. This is me! Let's meet some new people! Right? Oh, there we go. I was like, are, are, we, are we live? Are we still, li are we still alive? <laughs> Alright, here we go. I think I fell asleep on the couch again. Oh. Little lasers of sunlight are zapping right onto my face from the middle of the curtains. I think they've been specifically aimed to burn out my eyes. Lovely. Oh, well, I recognize that pose. <laughs> what is it? Like noon? Mm hmm. Jeez. Oh, jeez is right. Music. In my ears. Still too loud. Okay. That's better. Not my fault. Just saying. This couch pulls you in like you're drowning in bread dough. <laughs> my spine pops in loud protest as I swim free from my bread dough cushion trap. I'm gonna like this person. I'm gonna have to apologize to Aunt Wendy. I'm probably leaving a dent in the shape of my ass in the cushions. <laughs> I'll probably have to apologize for a couple things, actually. Oh. What a mess. We're a mess. Basically. But we love pizza and video games by the looks of it. So we can't be too bad. Okay, I know this looks bad, but it's almost not even my fault. Also, that shirt is amazing. Oh, you. Oh, man, that shirt is so cute. I want that. I can't help that clutter is naturally drawn into my gravitational pull. Honestly, it makes me feel a little more comfortable, you know? Like I really live here instead of just like I'm couch surfing at my hands. <laughs> or like I'm living in a furniture catalog. Not that I'm ungrateful. Aunt Wendy is awesome to let me use her apartment while she's away. She helped talk mom and dad into letting me come all the way out to the city too. She's pretty cool. I hear rustling behind me like fingernails on cardboard. It makes me pause for a second, but I jump up as I realize what it is. Hey! Mochi! Knock it off! Mochi, the living trash bag disguised as a cat, stares up indignantly from inside the pizza box. He's trying to scrape some dried up cheese off the bottom again. His little mushed up face is probably trying to stare me down, but it's kind of hard to tell where he's looking with those crossed eyes. Aw, poor Mochi. Mochi? Ah, I was wondering what he looked like. I clap my hands a few times to break the stalemate. He jumps at the sound, then waddles back to the bedroom in defeat. Yeah, that's right. I guess since I'm up too, I might as well get to... 
whatever I'm going to do today. I shuffle to the curtains and throw them open. My laptop is still sitting open on the coffee table. Oh yeah, job searching, I guess. That's what I was going to do. Oh joy. Look at all the laundry. I plop back down on the couch, already sinking back into the cushions, and take a look. Jeez, there are so many tabs here. Which one did I leave Greg's list open in again? Not that one. This one? Or this one? Maybe this one? Nah, that's just another cat video. <laughs> I was up all night watching Jelly Donut, the cat who balances donuts on her head. I have no idea how you get a cat to do something like that. Neat. I guess that's why Mochi and I aren't internet famous. <laughs> I find the tab and start scrolling through listings again. It's not like anything new has gone up since yesterday, I bet. Sidewalk cleaner intern. College credit only. Internet comment section proofreader. Fundraiser street team intern. Unpaid. Lovely. Yeah, it's been like this all month. Can you really blame me for giving up and watching cat videos? Not at all, girl. I know this kind of thing is supposed to take time, but try telling that to mom, dad, or my savings. Any of those could send me back home at any time. And I really have to get this done before Aunt Wendy gets back. Just thinking about writing another cover letter is making my will to exist a road away. <laughs> I'm really gonna like this girl. I'm gonna go for a walk. Get some fresh air. Blow the stink off ya. When I got here, I expected to be buried in noise from the city's traffic and crowds, but it's actually pretty quiet. The apartment is on a side street, far from the main street bustle. From here, the noises of the city are just a distant hum. It's comforting, like the buzz of an old tube TV. I'd have to walk, like, 20 minutes to get to the train from here, but I rarely leave the neighborhood, so it doesn't really matter. Still, living a small town life in the city, I guess. I guess. Oh, whatever. I get plenty of adventure in this neighborhood. I can just set out in any direction and find something new, even if I've been down that way before. Sure, I get lost a lot too, but that's half the fun, right? Yeah, I'd have like a major panic attack. <laughs> I turn a corner at the end of the block and head up a tiny side street I haven't tried yet. I haven't tied yet. Neatly arranged trash cans line the sides of the road. I think I'm behind some stores right now. I'm expecting a dead end, but the road suddenly curves to the right. It looks too narrow for cars, but the faded white lines marking the middle seem to claim some brave drivers could try their luck. I decide to follow the sharp bend in the road. After I pass a tall partition, I'm surprised by what I see. A cat's paw! Oh, that's so cute! Is that where we're gonna work? Hmm. A squat, three-story building painted so ostentatiously bright it'd be impossible to miss It's in front of me. A cat's paw? Is this a pet store or something? Maybe I can get a dumb toy for dumb mochi. As I walk closer to the front store, front front stores of the building, yes, the front doors of the building, I don't see the aisles of pet food I expected from the broad store windows. Instead, it looks like there are couches and tables in neatly arranged rows. Oh, so this is one of those pretentious restaurants with a pithy nonsense name, huh? I can feel my interest deflate and sink into my stomach. Oh, come on! Just as I'm about to turn and continue walking, I notice a sign in the window that declares, Now hiring, inquire within. I'm hardly dressed for a job inquiry, but I might as well give it a shot, right? I look to my right as I walk up to the door and see a little orange and white cat lying belly up, sunning itself against the window. It doesn't seem terribly sanitary to have a cat in a restaurant, but whatever. I like cats. Bells tinkle delicately as I tug on the handle. The heavy door creaks open. Oh, there's cats everywhere. Let's look at all the cats. There's a cat reenacting Simba and Mufasa over there, and there's a black cat glaring, and the cat in its belly, and belly in the air. Cute! Oh, there's even a cat, like, hiding up here in the, uh, um, balcony, I guess? What's over overlooking the main, main area here. Oh, and the paintings are so cute, too. And the, is that grumpy cat in the cat house? Cat tree house? It looks like grumpy cat to me. Am I crazy? Maybe I'm crazy. But anyway, this is so neat. And the reason we don't have these around anywhere is... 
Just imagine cats and coffee combined. Mwah. Anyway, this place is so classy it feels fake. It looks like a game board exploded in here. Isn't that what the palace was like in Wonderland? Oh uh, yeah, like with the cards and stuff. Is a purple cat gonna start talking to me? Cheshire cat. It does actually look a bit like a, a board game exploded in here. Though none of them are purple, boy are there a lot of cats. I think I can count at least eight right off the bat. They're all over the place, romping around the floor, sleeping on some of the built-in structures in the walls. I barely had time to take it all in when I hear a voice call out to me. Is this gonna be like our first dateable character? Welcome, please sit wherever you'd like. I shuffle in place for a moment, at first unsure of where the voice came from. Then of whether I want to sit or if I want to keep this strictly business. <laughs> um, actually... I start at the sort. Oh, hello! <laughs> hey, who are you? Boy number one, whoever you are. I start as the source of the voice looms into view. He appears suddenly from the second story landing and covers the length of the floor in a few long strides. You look confused. Is this your first time here? Would you like me to explain a bit about how the cafe works? I'll be happy to give you a tour. His eyes are gentle. He's one of those people who smiles with his entire body. It's positively infectious. Yes? Did I not click? Click? There we go. Either, yeah, that sounds great, or actually I'm here about the job. Yeah, sure, let's get to know, get to know who you are. Give me a name, please. Yeah, that sounds great. Oh, that's great. He bounds closer and towers over me in both stature and exuberance. It's a little strange that someone like this is working here, because he's more like a big sheepdog puppy than what I'd think of as a cat person. <laughs> Okay, so they're really emphasizing this guy is huge. My name is Landry. Just interrupt if you have any questions. Landry. You got it, Landry. I'm Avery. Well, Avery, to start, all of our cats are rescued strays. The owner brings them in for care and socialization. They seem really happy. Oh, bye, Landry. Having strangers around doesn't seem to bother them at all. We do everything we can to make them comfortable. Oh my goodness, this cat! <laughs> He's so chubby, it's cute! Many of them are up for adoption. We have a good match rate for our fosters. Over there is a wall of photos of some of our cats that have found happy homes. Aw, that's nice! Oh, and proceeds from the cafe help pay for their care. That sounds like an amazing place. Look, grumpy cat, he's right there. In that hole. The food is really good, too. Our chef is amazing. I recommend the key lime pie, personally. That all sounds really great. I bet you're really happy working here. Well, it's a lot of work, but I like to think it's all worth it. Actually, I saw you guys are hiring right now? Oh! His surprise freezes him for a split second. His broad smile immediately creeps back, but it's enough to pique my curiosity. Something wrong? We are. Did my explanation sell you that quickly? <laughs> eh? Hmm. Well, you seem really fun to work with. Hey. <laughs> oh my, that face is golden. I love it. Yeah, you seem really fun to work with. I wouldn't mind spending more time here. Really, I wouldn't mind a cute face like that greeting me every morning. Uh, good thing I didn't say that part out loud, at least, even though I had a super creepy look on my face anyway. Well, it's not all just having fun and playing with cats, you know. <clears throat> There's a lot going on behind the scenes. Oh, that's not what I mean. Any job becomes awesome when you've got a work buddy. Well, that's true. It does make things go more quickly. We have all different types of people working here. You seem nice, so I bet you'd get along with them pretty well. Before we get ahead of ourselves, you should really talk to the owner. He's the one that would make that decision. He's right upstairs, so I'll see if he's available to meet you now. Oh, uh, okay, sure. Uh, great, have a seat here then. 
Landry leads me to a seat on the plush couch that spans the length of the wall. I oblige, careful not to look too casual. I am here on business, after all. Do you like coffee? Would you like some? Love it. That would be great, thank you. Light and extra sweet, please. It's like the complete opposite of how I drink my coffee. He disappears through an open archway around the corner. A Siamese cat timidly peers at him as he goes, then at me with a wide-eyed, worried look. <laughs> Aww! Oh, he's so cute! It's okay! It's okay! I give it an awkward smile and nod before I realize I'm treating the cat like a stranger in an elevator. <laughs> Landry reappears a moment later, carefully balancing a black and white saucer, which in turn balances a stout white ceramic mug. The tiny creamer almost disappears in his large hands. He gingerly places them in front of me, careful not to spill anything from either. I put a little bit of milk and sugar in there for you, but I brought some more if you don't like it. Oh no, it looks perfect. Thank you. I'm glad to hear it. I think we drink our coffee the same way then, because I made it the way I like it. Oh, bonding already. You have excellent taste. I take a careful sip of the coffee as I watch Landry take his long strides into the back of the cafe. He really covers a lot of ground. He's not even moving that quickly. Man, it sure sounds like we're smitten with this guy already. Could use a little more milk, though. I guess I'm not good at being an adult yet. I don't like that it still tastes like coffee. I pour what should be a little splash of extra milk, but half the creamer's worth spills in. It almost overflows. I dive forward and gulp a mouthful from the side before I dare to like, lift the mug and drink like a civilized person. <laughs> that is so me. Mm. <laughs> Aww. This cat's looking at me like it's offended by what I just did. What? Like a cat knows anything about coffee. Well, that was one of the other... other options. Are you my second option, whoever you are, cute little cat? Maybe. Landry's gone long enough for me to nearly finish the mug. Just long enough for me to wonder where everybody else is. The Siamese cat's still staring at me. I'm just gonna ignore it and focus on my drink. Oh. Hello, who are you? Finally, Landry emerges from the back of the cafe. But he's not alone. And the music has stopped. This is Graves, the owner of the cafe. Graves, this is Avery. Graves? What are you... Wow, man. That name uh, suits his look. I'll give him that. It looks like he's from uh, like a goth rock band or something. <laughs> oh, but this sucks. Oh, wow. Oh, your eyes are two different colors, too. This sucks, though, because he's, um... When I was looking at the achievements for this game, it's one of the achievements is Unlock Graves' Root. So I'm pretty sure he's the secret root for this game. There's a secret root, and I'm pretty sure this is it. I'll have to double check. But that means you had to be last. Oh, man, you could have been boy number two. I like the look of him the most out of everybody I've met. Well, everybody. I've met Landry. Landry Mochi and the Siamese cat, who may be somebody in this, but I don't know who it is. <sighs> okay, and a fangirling. Let's just read through this. He looks like he should own a bookstore that insists it sells tomes, not books. Or maybe like he's about to try and sell you a crystal that'll balance your chakras? Or maybe this is what the owners of cat cafes look like. I've never seen... Ah! Oh, so close. His eyes, they're two different colors. I know. I don't know which one to look at. I can't focus on both of them at the same time. Which one am I supposed to look at? My attention is swallowed by his icy blue eye. Is he wearing a contact to complete his dark renaissance look? <laughs> Maybe. I think it was his eye. Yes, it was this. Eh? <laughs> He had the eye of a vulture, a pale blue eye with a film over it. Whenever it fell upon me, my blood ran cold, and so by degrees, very gradually, I made up my mind to take the life of the old man, and thus rid myself of the eye forever. That sounds familiar. What's that from? 
tell something heart, right? Tell, 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 tell heart, tell, tell heart, something like that. I can't remember. Uh, excuse me? Yes, tell, tell heart. Ah, I actually remembered something. Tell, tell heart. You were looking at my eye. Kids, didn't you read that in high school? <laughs> Ahem, well, I read it, but Avery didn't. Well, yeah, but, uh... Iridus heterochromia. It's more common in cats than humans. He's got this look like he knows he just told a great joke, but there's no punchline anywhere I can see. What a weirdo. I'm not sure I want to work for a guy like this. Are you kidding? Look at him, he's gorgeous. Then again, he hired someone as nice as Landry, so he's got at least some good taste hidden in there. Would I need to know that to get a job here? I just gave away the answer, so I'll let that one slide. Follow me. We'll talk on the second floor. Oh. Before he finishes the sentence, he's already three steps up the stairs to the balcony. I shake my head a little and follow him. After all, I really need a job. Don't be picky, girl. We make our way up to the second floor balcony, which, except for us, is only occupied by those amazing looking cakes in the display case. Ooh. I wonder if I can get a slice on my way out. Graves leans down over the balcony of the cafe and raises his voice to the people below. Or to the cats, I guess, since cats are the only thing I can see from here. Hayes, will you get us some coffee? Is that the chef? I haven't seen anybody here besides him and Landry. Oh, I already had a cup. Is that going to stop you from another? You can't have enough coffee. Especially when Hayes is the one making it. Oh yeah, I've fallen for this guy. I don't think I met Hayes. You may have. You might not know yet. Was that the, was that the Siamese cat that was very offended? <laughs> I've had our coffee drinking. Graves folds himself into the slender chair at a corner table. He pushes the opposite chair away with his foot, nudging it just enough to turn it towards me. Ugh, these pictures are gonna be the death of me. I'm like, ah. Come on, sit down. Let's talk. You don't have to be so stiff. Interviews are boring. Make it interesting for both of us. No pressure, huh? Graves sits with a sort of grim pomp, like he's sitting in a skull throne and a raven's going to land on his shoulder at any time. <laughs> Maybe it's more like he's about to roll a die with a lot of sides. I bet he's a nerd. Oh yes. Excellent. Loving it more and more. I gotta stop fangirling, you're my last one! Ugh, I'm supposed to be focused on Landry. Okay, get off the Graves train, get back on the Landry train. Stop freaking out so much. I take the seat across from him. <laughs> Sit. Just so you're aware, we aren't starting without coffee. Uh, okay. You can talk, of course. I meant the interview. Okay. Out of the corner of my eye, I notice a tiny slip of a blonde man sitting at the balcony and I mean standing at the balcony entrance. Ah! I jump a little. When did he get here? I didn't hear anybody come up the stairs at all. Aw, cute little ninja kid. Is this Hayes? Is this guy a ghost? Graves looks like the type to hire ghosts. Oh my goodness, stop harping on poor Graves. Aw, he looks terrified by my shout. I think I scared him more than he scared me. Gingerly, he sets two mugs in front of Graves. It is Hayes. Aw, you're so cute. Thank you, Hayes, but you should give Avery the other mug. He sounds like he's reminding a child to say thank you. Of... Of course. Hayes glances up at me. Our eyes meet for a millisecond before he suddenly finds something very important to focus on downstairs. Aw, poor Hayes. He pushes the cup toward me without looking back up. He's totally that Siamese cat. I guess it means Hayes is number two on our list. Uh, thank you. Graves' ring clacks against the porcelain of the cup as he takes a drink. Perfect as always. I don't know what I did without your coffee. It's nothing special, really. He talks like it's the first time he's spoken today. Quiet and a little hoarse. If that's all, I'll go back to the cats. That's fine. 
He slips back down the stairs just as quietly as he arrived. That kid would make a great ninja. Yeah. Oh, that's so cute. I look down at the coffee and see a sleepy cat face staring up at me from the foam. Did, did Hayes do that? I've only ever seen latte art on the internet before. Did Hayes really do this? I take a sip. It's not bad if you like coffee, I guess, but it could really use some sugar. There are packets on the table, but I can't bring myself to ruin the foam cat. I know, I don't even want to drink it. Oh, hello again. Now we can get this going. Let's interview. I'll even start you off easy. What's your favorite breed of cat? Scottish Fold, Siamese, Maine Coon, those cats with those stumpy little tails. I don't know, Tabby? Cats that look like they're wearing tuxedos. Or my cat. My favorite breed of cat is my cat. I don't know what he is, but he's mine. Um, let's see, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I wonder if these correspond at all to the uh, romance options you have? Like, Siamese would be Haze, right? And the main coon is a huge cat, so that would probably be Landry? I assume everybody who's here is a cat. I don't know what he turns into. I'll pick main coon, just because I think... Uh, it, just in case this is like part of the game where it's like... This will kind of influence who you have, um, you know, feelings towards, so... Main Coon. Do you know any other languages? How about ciphers? <laughs> no... This, or... I speak the language of dance. I, got, I gotta pick I speak the language of dance. <laughs> what marine animal would you say best represents you? How is a butterfly a marine animal? <laughs> okay, um, hmm. Dolphin, orca, shark, penguin, butterfly. Um, I'll just continue with the large stuff, I guess. An orca, even though I'd rather pick a dolphin, but sure. Orca. What genre of music would you use to describe your work ethic? Classical? Lee hardworking? <laughs> Children sing along. Chip tunes. Punk. I'm not dead. Just resting. <laughs> That's amazing. Um Yeah, let's see. If it was me, I'd pick punk. I'm not dead, just resting, but I feel like that'd be a graves thing. Hmm. I don't know what Landry would listen to. Chiptunes? Children sing along? I don't know. Maybe chiptunes? <laughs> On a scale from 1 to 10, rate me as an interviewer. A 1, a 10, or a 7.5? I feel like 7.5 is fair. 1 is being a jerk, 10 is trying too hard. That seems like good. Draculas or teenage wolves? Oh my, Draculas. Ugh, all the way Draculas, but... I kind of feel like Landry would be more into wolves, so I'll pick wolves, even though Dracula's. I hope you're a Dracula person. Just kidding with that last one. Nice. Interesting. Good. I like interesting people. He leans forward, appraising me with this terrible smirk on his face. He's like the cat who ate the canary. Maybe I don't want to be interesting by his standards, but it feels kind of flattering nonetheless. Uh, thank you. You start tomorrow. Really? Huh? Wow, great! Thank you! Close that Greg's List tab! Achievement? Don't run off yet. I have paperwork for you. Oh yeah, of course. Graves pushes away from the table, coffee cup in hand. He nabs my saucer, even though I'm not quite finished, and slinks down the stairs. He returns as if he'd never left, trading the empty coffee cup for a small stack of papers and a pen. He places them in front of me. So what will my job be? We'll see. Oh? Did... Did he hire me with no position in mind? Is this how this guy usually works? I feel like I'm in a daze. Too much information and too much coffee. 
I take the papers and skim them, signing pretty much anywhere I see an X and a lime. What's it all for, and why is there so much? Probably taxes and stuff, I don't know. And who cares? I've got a job. Yeah, don't question it too much. It'll be fine! Sure, all your co-workers are half-cat, but shoot, whatever. I push the papers back towards Graves, and he eagerly scoops them off the table. Perfect. We open at 11. Be here at 8. We'll have you help with the morning prep. My displeasure must be pretty apparent, because his mouth cracks into another smirk. <laughs> yeah, I'm not that really much of a morning person. You can work a later shift after training. You won't have to deal with those cursed mornings for too long. Oh, do you not like mornings either? Man, you and I are going to get along so well. Uh, okay, that's fine. Now go. I have a lot of work to do before tomorrow. You need to get to work fixing that sleep schedule of yours. Okay, okay. He seems lost in his own world now, poring over the paperwork I just filled out. I guess there's all sorts of tax stuff you have to deal with hiring people. Why would he do it so casually? Well, whatever. Not my problem. I had to sign my life away. I head down the stairs. Landry's back. He looks uncomfortable waiting at the foot of the balcony, but perks up when he sees me. So? I'll see you tomorrow, co-worker. Oh. Oh, congratulations. You can meet everybody else tomorrow morning. I'll make sure they're all ready for a meeting when you get in. How many people work here? Well, there's me. Graves, of course. You met Hayes. Finley, Mason, Reese. That's it. It shouldn't take too long to get to know them. Okay, great. I'll see you all tomorrow then. Great. See you. Woohoo! I'm gonna live it up a little. I'm gonna paint this town red. I finally have a job! Yes! And the intro! Date night -o. <laughs> Amazing. Oh, there's everybody else. Nice. Oh. <laughs> what? Finley. Neat. And Landry. First boy. Please. Tista. I guess that's the chef. Oh my god! <laughs> Chains and a demon! <laughs> Amazing! Coffee and cats and whipped cream. Is them as all their cats? Wait, oh man, you're not gonna tell me what Graves' cat looks like? Or is that him? Rust? Uh... Alright, well that was the intro. That was a really neat intro. I've been playing for a bit now. I think that's a good introduction to the whole Hustle Cat universe. I'm very interested to see where this goes from here. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next video.